Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and in this video we are reviewing the latest gold apple watch ultra replica which is the G9 ultra pro so there are many specialities about this smartwatch which has attracted the audience which are looking for a cheap replica first of all it comes under $20 after that you not only get one two but three straps in the box so if you are looking for a review to check out all of its features then this is the one for you but before we talk more about it make sure to hit the subscribe button so let's get right into it and check out what comes inside the box of the g9 ultra pro so here is the box let's open it so first of all we get the user manual then we have three straps inside it the stainless steel strap alpine loop and the ocean straps then we get the usb a wireless charger and here we have the g9 ultra pro smartwatch and in the end we have the strap adjustment tool so first of all if you look at the smartwatch it comes in 49 mm size but the dimensions are not exactly the same as the apple watch ultra because of which it doesn't fit the apple watch ultra accessories then it has a golden case although instead of this golden color i prefer the golden color on my pagani watch as you can see here it is looking a lot better as compared to this one we have the insensible knob on the right side which means you won't hear a clicky sound whenever you use the scroll function you can click it to access the menu then we have the side key which can be used to turn on the screen off dial on the left side we have the action key which can be used to access the sport modes so you can go to settings and here go to button to edit where you can choose the function for the action key and unlike other golden apple watch ultra replicas i've unboxed this one doesn't come with the orange action key it comes with a golden color matching the case of the smartwatch on the right side we have the microphone hole and on the left side we have the speaker holes the additional holes are there on the smartwatch but they are not open they are closed it also doesn't have the gps antenna design on the body on the back side we have a color matching the case of the smartwatch we have wireless charging and health sensors here then here we have the real screws and then we have the strap locks to remove the straps you will have have to press the button and then push the straps if we talk about the straps inside the box then first of all the stainless steel strap is not so good in quality but one thing that i really appreciate is that that the strap lock part comes in golden color instead of silver color some of the golden apple watch ultra replicas like the amx 9 ultra max i1 box comes with a silver strap lock the alpine loop also has golden buckle and strap lock part and even the ocean strap has golden buckle and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist with all of the straps which one would you choose let me know in the comment section below i think it makes a great combination with the stainless steel straps then if you talk about the display it comes with ips display and here is a look at the bezel size the bezels are almost even from all sides now let's take a look at all of the watch faces These were all of the built-in watch faces. The watch faces are also interactive and you can access the applications which are shown on them. And it also has themed watch faces and this watch face also has this red black compass watch face theme. But it doesn't have compass inside it because of which the compass doesn't move on the watch face. After that the watch faces have ticking seconds hand. One thing about the digital clock is quite annoying that it is showing minutes above the hours. And it does support 12 hour clock format. To lock the watch face you will have to swipe from left to right and here tap on the lock icon but it is still quite annoying that if you use the crown key it will prompt you every time that the watch face is locked you can tap on it again to unlock it after that on the home screen we get the control center quick access menu quick access applications and the app history and the ui and everything is not so similar to the apple watch os and if you look at the menu styles first of all here is the cellular menu style the icons resemble a bit with the apple watch os but they are not exactly the same it also has this scroll down and scroll up animation but it doesn't have app opening and quitting animations it is not the smoothest but considering that it's a cheap replica i think it's fine you can double click the crown key to change the menu style here is the second menu style then we have the list view and here we have a curved list and these were all of the menu styles the normal screen time has the never option which means the display can stay on forever until the battery dies and the backlight time also applies to the screen off dial so whenever you are using the never option even the screen off dial will never go off you can enable a screen screen off dial by going to settings scroll all the way down and turn on screen off dial it doesn't have tap to wake option or the palm gesture but it does have raise hand to brighten up the screen option after that let me show you all of the languages supported by it
this were all of the languages supported by it and it also supports this sync settings option which means when you pair it with the watch application it will sync the language with your smartphone as far as i've checked you cannot add a passcode to the smartwatch it uses the qd fit pro application first of all we have the watch faces and the watch face collection is not so good but all of the watch faces available inside it are free after that you can tap on the custom watch face button to use your own picture from the gallery as a watch face you can select on select dial background then tap on custom background then go to select from phone album and after selecting the picture you can choose if you want to show the heart rate step tracker calories and distance on the custom watch face then you can select from clock dial and digital dial if you select clock dial then there are a lot of pointer options available here and it also has this scale option available here it might not be the best replica but it has the best customization options among all ultra watches and we have logo settings using which you can add a custom logo in the smartwatch and you can also use it to add apple logo in the smartwatch select the apple logo picture you can find the link of this picture in the description box below and after that tap on send and in a few seconds apple logo will be pushed to the smartwatch and the smartwatch will turn on with the apple logo after that you can also receive incoming call incoming sms and app alerts app alerts also has the other option which means it can send you the notifications for almost all of the applications on your smartphone even if that application isn't listed here so it turns on the display when you receive a new notification and shows a full screen prompt it doesn't have banner notification option and for a longer notification it failed to show the content for me and obviously what can you expect from it it doesn't support emojis then you cannot add alarms directly in the smartphone you will have to use the watch application for that so i've set an alarm and here's how the alarm is shown it doesn't ring it only vibrates and the vibration intensity is also not so strong here we have the close and snooze button and we have the reminders to not disturb mode automatic heart rate detection and body temperature settings it also has the find device option using which the smartwatch will start to ring and again the vibration intensity is not so strong it also has the find option in the smartwatch using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it and it rings even if the smartphone is on vibration mode you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch and you can add up to 20 commonly used contacts in it then it also supports firmware updates currently it is running the latest version to connect with bluetooth calling access the control center and enable the bluetooth icon and then connect with g9 ultra pro audio and once connected you can call directly from the smartwatch you can also receive calls directly on it it rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call and it also shows the name of the caller and when you accept the call you can increase or decrease the volume from here it doesn't have the mute option or to transfer the call to the smartphone option but you can end the call from here then you can also access the voice assistant directly on it how's the weather today but in my case it didn't play any sound when i used the voice assistant on it now i have turned off bluetooth calling now let's see if we can control the media playing on our device yes we can control the media playing on our device without having to use bluetooth calling so its advantage is that even if you control the media from the smartwatch it will not shift the sound of the smartphone to the smartwatch and once the the watch app is connected you can also push weather updates which shows the weather right now the high and lows and the weather condition but the values are quite inaccurate if we compare it with the iphone and you can also check the location on the smartwatch it shows the longitude latitude and the city now let's take a look at rest of the options first of all we have outdoor sports and i don't think that you can customize the calorie target and everything because whenever i try to tap on the three dots it actually opens that sport mode so there are a lot of sport modes here then we have the blood pressure the heart rate checker body temperature and blood oxygen level checker and if i try to use it in the air it does measure the data which means that it doesn't have weight detection and proximity sensor in my opinion if i'm buying a cheap replica i wouldn't expect it to have accurate sensors then we have the calculator application here we have breathe training you can also customize the speed and the time it also has a full calendar application and you can swipe up and down to access the calendar for the upcoming months and for the previous months then we have sleep tracker data record stores your fitness data and we have countdown to help you out in your workouts and we also have indoor sport modes and in the end we have the qr code to download the watch application in the end if we talk about battery it is advertised to come with 190 mAh of battery inside it and according to them it can give you 18 days on standby and 7 days on normal usage i've been working on this video for about half an hour and when i started recording the video it was at 88 percent and currently it is at 38 percent which means it has lost 50 percent of the battery 
in a 30 minute recording which is quite bad not quite it is a lot bad it is worse this is the worst battery timing any smartwatch has ever given me since i've started unboxing them so if you're looking for a smartwatch with a good battery even in a cheap price then it is surely not the one for you so guys this is all from today's video and these were all of the features in the g9 ultra pro so what do you think about it i think that it's not a fitness smartwatch and it is obviously not an exact apple watch ultra replica in my opinion it's just a jewelry item that you can use on functions and i think that considering it is only available under 20 dollars it's not so bad the battery timing is not the best but if you're only gonna be using it for a one to two hour function then it will do the work for you if you would like to purchase it i'm gonna be leaving the link of an aliexpress store in the description box below and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch and if you want to blow your mind with more amazing smartwatches make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming videos i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is i Matt. peace